Ricardo DFW Junk Guys with my boy J Rock today. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? We're going to work together. Sergio from Junk Removal Solutions is here. We're going to go out and talk to him. Jay, we're at the property here in Frisco. Uh, what you think, brother? You ready to work? Yeah. yeah Haven't worked with me in a while, but I got a lot of paper in the back of this truck. We got a lot of mess on the facility. So Diego's here too. There's Diego. Diego! Uh, Diego's going to clean up the property while we go to work. Okay. So come on. Let's come out here. Hmm. Jay Rock, I don't think people know and understand how long me and you <laughs> how long me and you've been friends you want to talk to him uh man it's been over baby 20 years you know we met uh in the dallas pleasant grove area uh he had a couple of shoe stores maybe six and uh i was a young little cub i used to come over there and play video games with him yeah okay wow we got a fucking shit show out here no bullshit we have a total 110% shit show. And there's J-Rock making a fucking mess. So if y'all remember yesterday, we did that job, uh, which was the um, paperwork. It was at the land surveying company. We cleaned out a whole attic and the attic, oops, I spit on my camera. The attic was full of trash. Uh, Sergio, you wanna come over? The attic was full of paperwork and books. Hey Jay, not that, not that Jay, only metal. Oh, just the metal. Just the trash too. Well, no, no, we're doing. What do you think I am, a landfill or something? <laughs> well, uh, we'll separate that down there. Okay. But those little strips and that radio okay. and all that stuff, that's gotta go. Uh, that, the speakers and stuff, yeah. You're making a fucking mess on the ground, dude. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Junk Solutions. <laughs> he just totally ignored me. Uh, we're so, having fun out here. What we're doing is unloading your trailer from yesterday's job. That's right. We had a lot of recycle in it. Uh, we had a lot of metal that we're actually leaving on the property. Yeah. So then you come and pick it up. That's right. Uh, today we have plastic. We gotta get rid of that plastic. We gotta yeah. put that on the back of one of them. Yeah, let's to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, well, what are you thinking, brother? Uh, we're gonna go. We got some work to do. I owe you some money from yesterday. Hold the camera, dude, so I can pay you. Jesus. All right. So yesterday, uh, he came out and he helped me out yesterday, guys. And I, I think I got some money. Where's, somewhere. It, at? Where's yeah. it at? Oh shit! Right? Where's okay. it at? Make it rain. Make so, it rain. We're gonna make it rain. No, don't, no, I don't want to put the rain. So, so I owed him yesterday. You came out and worked and four hundred dollars plus, plus bonus, plus bonus, plus bonus in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, no, shit. Plus bo in my pocket. Oh, there it is. There you right. go, sir. There's your money from yesterday, guys. Wonk, uh, wonk, wonk. He came out and yesterday helped me out. I told him if he filled up his trailer, I pay him four hundred dollars. Did he fill it up? Not all the way, but it's still legit. He busted his ass. So really, honestly, Sergio, even though I paid you $400, you could have made more money off this trailer. There's still enough to make, if you got to remove two hot tubs, you can actually fit it in here. Oh yeah. You know? Oh yeah. It's not a problem, right? Not a problem. Not a problem. Now, if you look behind us, we have also one of our other employees coming right behind us. He's creeping. Nada caliente. Cacahuates. You got peanuts. He's got ice cream, he's got water. Champurrado. ¿Qué es esto? Champurrado. Oh, no sé qué es esto, amigo. Es atolito. Oh, oh shit. I don't know what it is, but... Te puse tu televisión grande, amor, y se la llevaron de volado. No, ¿cuál? La big one que habíamos apartado. No, wow, that is funny. So, so, talking about recycling right now because we have a lot of recycling. But yesterday, you just he just told me this that he dropped a cat a, a TV. You dropped the TV out here, and, and, and you put the TV on the floor. And then what happened? Alguien se la llevó, le gustó. Y ahí pensó que estaba buena y se la llevó. By the way, I tengo esa bocina. También se la van a llevar. Ahorita que pase alguien, le va a gustar y se la va a llevar. Maybe esa está buena. Right, that's awesome because. I don't know what the hell you just said. But anyway, guys, we're going to head out of here. We're going to pick up some of this plastic. They made a little mess down here. Mira la basura, wey. All right, guys, so uh, Sergio's here. He made a mess outside, but we're about to go to work right now. You ready? You ready, bro? Yes, sir. Uh, follow me out. Come on. Diego's going to stay here. So, so I'm, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave Diego here. Me and J-Rock are leaving. We're going to go recycle this uh, and then go do a, a small job. Nothing big. Uh, go take a look at a job is what we're going to go do. And we do got to do some stuff, so let's do that. Okay, so we just arrived at the recycling center. So here they pay you to uh, throw the paper away. We got all these attorney papers and all this stuff. And we, need, I told them, listen, we didn't need the money. All we need to do here, Jay, will you record me? All we need to do is um, we just want to get rid of the stuff. 
and that's what I'm doing. Don't, don't point down here. Whatever. So what we're doing, we're going to dump everything here at the recycling center and just pan around and take a look at the whole area. It's not normally somewhere I come to, but uh, listen, if we're recycling it properly, we're doing something right. It's better than it going to the landfill and not getting recycled properly. You show up here and it gets recycled right. So that's the good thing about it. But another thing is I'm not asking for any money. Hey, I'm just trying to dump this stuff. finished unloading the guys we just uh disposing it everything's emptied out of the trailer there it is god look at all that paper holy shit jay we get that basket anything that doesn't look like it is like the speaker right here all right we're gonna leave out of here we're gonna go we're gonna take this actually this dumpster back to the property it's gonna get filled up with the trash that we have around the property and then me and Johnny, we're gonna go look at two estimates today. And I'm gonna die job, they're gonna follow us while we go around the city and give estimates. We might back around and get some breakfast and stuff like that and have a good time. Oh, just arrived here in uh Lake Dallas. Normally I don't work in Lake Dallas, but we'll see what we got. We got some kind of mess, some kind of trash or something like that. I don't know. It's Olympus Controls. I got an email. We got an email from this job. Oh, we got an email? Yeah, and uh, they sent us an email, told us to come out and take a look at some property or something. Maybe they want you to control something. Maybe they want us to control something. It's called Olympus Control. So let's go see what we got. Uh, no, hell no. Uh. <laughs> What's your set there, huh? I don't think it's a house. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. All right, oh, wow. This is this got my stuff in on the back of it. Yeah, it's got a credit card in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I just want to put somebody through email. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, was that was that you? Yeah. Oh, I, th I thought it was a gentleman. I didn't. What's your name? Sammy. Sammy. Okay, <laughs> Ricardo. Nice to meet J. you. J. Rock. Nice to meet you. Come on. That's funny. I thought it was, you know, I was meeting the guy, of course, because Sammy, you know? Shut up. Gotta keep it warm. Gotta keep it warm. So all this stuff is going to be back behind this building. Okay. Look right here. Wow. I don't know. I charge $400 per trailer. Um, you would fill up a trailer. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's going to fill up a whole dumpster trailer. I, I'm honest, I'm thinking like around 500 bucks. What do you think? Right. Yeah. I don't know. What'd they bid? Is my bid too 530. high? 530. 530? Well, there you go. Just okay. hire us and we'll do right. it. Okay. Well, I got to get one more bid. Okay. Well, give me that card. Well, I think you're, uh, you know. Yeah, you got my email. Yeah. Look, I can't give you this. Come on. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm getting charges from Olympus <laughs> Controls. Look at this, Jay. <laughs> right. That's crazy. They said pop. Yeah, you know, our trailer, just to let you know, Sammy, our trailer's 16 foot long. Uh -huh. If you fill up my trailer, we fill it up. We'll back it in all into here. It's okay to drive back here. If we fill it up, it's 400. Then I'll throw stuff in the back of the truck. Uh -huh. It'll be 500 bucks. So okay. it's it's a 45 minute job, right? Yeah. Take no time. Yeah, it won't take no time. Okay. We'll, we'll be in and out. You won't even notice we're here. When would be the soonest you could come? Um, no, we knock it out tomorrow. Okay. We'll be done in the afternoon. Okay. I got a job in the morning that's going to take me a couple of hours, okay. and then I just come up here. Like I said, I'm not going to bother nothing. I'll pull in here. I'll back in there, I'll, I'll do the job, then I'll come in and charge you. All right, so here's what happened. We gave an estimate on uh, the pallets and the wood in the back and stuff, and uh, I mean, easily it was 500 bucks. 
It was pretty good. It was, it was a lot of wood. It was a lot of wood. Uh, it's going to fill up a trailer, a 16-foot trailer. And, you know, so the reason why I want to do this is is because Johnny's been working with me so long. He knows how big our trailers are, and you know how we respond right. and, and how we fill them up. And each trailer's 400 bucks. So I came out here. The lady's name was Sammy. This seems like it's a, what did she say, robotic engineer? Yeah, they said that maybe 30 more years that the world going to be run by robots. So. Which is really weird. I was like, okay. We in trouble. We in trouble. Yeah, we're going to get replaced by robots. But they do robotic engineering in here, supposedly. But point is, they had a lot of pallets. They had a lot of wood in the back. They had shit on the floor. Uh, I went it back there. Nothing like they doing nothing. Nothing. There ain't nothing. You know, that's true. <laughs> what <laughs> robotic we went, they doing in there? This what in the house. hell are they doing in here? There's nothing here that looks robotic. Okay, so she's coming back out to give us the job right now. She's just going to give us the job, and we're going to record her giving the job. Here we go. So, uh, this looks awkward. Maybe I'll move the camera here. So, give me a little vision. Oh. Sammy, what's up? What's up? Uh, boss said just come on out and take it tomorrow. Okay, no problem. We'll knock it out. Thank you. Okay. What we're talking about is that we got the job. <laughs> that fast. That fast. We got the job, guys. Uh, it was live on video, and the, people love this live stuff. But, uh, Jay, if you looked at the prop, if you looked at the trash, what would you assume, what would you assume was the price for the trash that was back there? Well, automatic when you walk to the back, you see the brick, it automatic skirt. You know what? Let's just go down there and look at it. Yeah. Let's just go here. I'll drive down there. I'll drive down there. Right. right. So here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at the trash one more time. Uh, but everybody sees how I do my estimates. And I think when we got out here, Johnny, you had the same idea I did, didn't you? Yeah. And what, what it was going to cost? Okay. So I'll let Johnny take a look at it. But he's going to just pinpoint everything that we have out here. Go ahead, Jay. Basically, when I came around, automatic, you get scared. You see the, the, the cement, the rock and automatic reach ricardo let people know we don't take the rock or nothing like that so then you start looking at the weight and start looking at the most heaviest stuff and start figuring out how much can your truck hold yeah if you look at this stuff right here jay point it this way the camera this is this is probably the heaviest thing that there is but it's breakable though yeah Watch you could you break the legs off and it, and it make uh you can actually get it flat so you can get more stuff in there and, and here's another thing Phone. Phone. phone, lightweight, fake. Phone. This, if these robots take over us with this phone, we're in trouble. Yeah. But yeah, so it ain't, it ain't that hard. It ain't nothing to be discouraged about. It's a quick little. Yeah. I'll give that a forty-five minute job. Yeah, I, don't I think it's uh, maybe like a twenty minute. So. Yeah. so this maybe what they was, they were putting the robots on here. They got it. It says robots. It says robots. Y'all see? Robots. <laughs> Look at this. It says, Univer it says universal robots. And then, and, and if you look at it over here, J-Rock, it says <laughs> universal. Y'all see that? But I want, I want, look at the house. Show them. Show them that there's no robots here. Okay, look. This is like a house. They're like a nice house. Does it does it honestly look like there's robots in here? They're like they got 30, 40 robots lined up ready for, for some arms to be put on them right there. <laughs> the Terminator was not built right here. Just to let y'all know. Not even. Yeah, this is, we'll knock this out tomorrow. It shouldn't take it that long. So yeah, this is what the, uh, the job he got. Some new wood too. Look at yeah. that wood. Yeah, it looks like they just got a robot in. They just got a robot in with that wood. You can smell it. Oh, what? what it says here? Battery. Power vehicle. This came from Denmark. Mobile industry robots. <laughs> Tell you, it's going down. The robots able to drive. The, t the Terminator. The Terminator is gonna get us here. This is pretty funny. Anyway, so they're a robotic. Supposedly they're a robotic firm. Uh, they're doing something robotics. Uh, y'all, y'all just got the inside with J Rock. Uh, he gave y'all the estimate instead of me. But I think we both agreed on the price, right, Jay? Yeah, 500 is really good. Yeah, it, no, no, no. I looked at 452, but then I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna hit high, and maybe she'll just say someone else bid higher. You know what I mean? Right. So I said 500, and 
Honestly, when we got in the truck, what was the first thing we said when we got in the truck? That she's not going to have anybody else. She's gonna ain't nobody going to do it. Ain't, ain't gonna, nobody going to do it. And you know what? We got in the truck, and I sat down. And I said, Jay, ain't nobody going to do it. And I, I think I recorded it. And guess what? She walked to the truck, and she did what? She said, I mean, she just knew it was the best deal. Yeah, so she gave us the job, which was really cool. So we'll come out here tomorrow in the afternoon. We'll back up, get the trailer ready. Boom. 500 bucks later. So that's it okay guys we're gonna head out we got to go to allen texas we got to pick up one thing in allen texas and we're done for the day just arrived all right so we're back at the shopping center i was at yesterday and supposedly I left some pallets behind. They're supposed to be right here. It's just a small little pile. It's so small. And I got J-Rock. We're looking for this small pile. And it doesn't look like we got a small pile anywhere, but I gotta take a piss anyway. So hold on. Here, Jay, walk around with the camera. Don't let nobody know I'm pissing. So they told us we had a small pile of pallets. So like a small pile of debris. He said he got to use the old wanker tanker. We're going to get him on camera. Candy camera. Junk guy's gone wild. Junk guy's gone wild. Where's the button? Where's the button? button? There's a button. Look for it. We're here to rob the place. Now we're here to pick up some pallets, man. Picking up pallets. Oh shit, sure, right? Picking up pallets. Picking up pallets? I don't have no pallets. Uh, what the fuck? It's Dollar Tree. This one you put Ross. Ross. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> Where? That one's Ross? Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Right here. Fuck sticks. If I drove out here, me and you drove out here, we're charging. We're charging, that's it. We drove out here, we're way out of our league out here in this motherfucking place. Oh, there they are, fucking shit. So you wanna drag him? No, I'll put mine into the Yeah. All right, there's the big pile. It is humongous. I'll go get it, I'll go get it, I'll go get it. It's a humongous pile of pallets. It's, oh, jeez. I'm gonna tell you, they went off on, went off on us. <laughs> they were mad. Uh, we went to... <laughs> We're supposed to, we're supposed to buzz for uh, Ross, and we buzzed the button for Family Dollar. Guy came out, he wasn't happy. <laughs> he was screaming at us. So whatever, regardless, it is what it is. We found the place. Um, Ross is on the other side, and we got the pallets. So we're gonna pick up the pallets really fast, see a quick time lapse, and probably gonna finish the day, guys. Uh, working with J-Rock is really cool. We get to talk football all day, so that's the best part about it. So Johnny's the only one with gloves. Watch that, watch that, that yeah, thanks, Shay. Appreciate that. Make it fall in that little hole. So I think, uh, Johnny, are you able to handle this job or what? I mean, I need you think you, you think you might need backup, bro? Yeah. It's so much of a pile. So much of a pile. Oh, what, what we got is Johnny's already loading all the pallets in the back of the truck right there. We're putting it kind of in order. Something like this is kind of tricky. You, sometimes you got to be sure that it doesn't get blown out by the wind, okay? But apparently he doesn't need my help. Uh, it's just a little wood. He's going to load it. He's the only one that brought gloves. I'm not going to touch that shit with my hands. There's no way I'm touching that with my hands. And the last thing you want to do is scratch old yellow right here. Because, of course, there's no scratches on old yellow. You know, this is like a brand new truck. So, anyway, what we're going to do is... No, you know what? Let's talk about how we got this job. That's really important, okay? So, let's talk about that. Okay, so we got this job from a company called Junk It Away up in Minnesota. Apparently, they have a contract with all the Rosses that are in Minnesota. So it's, what is that noise? Okay, 
So they have a deal with all the Rosses in Minnesota, and apparently every once in a while they ask them, hey, can you do a job in Allen? Or uh, can you do a job in Texas? They don't know anybody, so they call us because the guy's a subscriber to our channel. Um, so that's pretty cool. What we're gonna do is gonna call him in just a second. We're gonna get him on the phone, get him live on the video so I can hear him, see who it is, and we'll go from there. But for right now, we're just loading up a little crap onto the back of the truck. But we're gonna hit him for 150, right, Jay? 150 easy. Because we drove out here for nothing. Hey, hey Ricardo, this is Ryan with Young Genius. Sorry about the missed call. Hey, it's okay, Ryan. I got you live on my video right now, if that's okay. Yeah, sure, no worries. Hey, brother. Hey, well, we just came out here to uh, Allen, Texas. We just picked up the trash that you had. And I was kind of yeah. just wanted to call, talk to you about, like, how we share jobs, even though you're in another state, another mm -hmm. part of the United States, how, how easily it was for you to pick up the phone and call call me and um, yeah. do the transaction. So if you can just tell me what you do and the name of your business and uh, who usually comes out here. But if you can just say that to my subscribers, I'd appreciate it. So we're Junk Genius. We operate out of uh, the Twin Cities in Minnesota. So normally, a lot of times when you get bigger companies, they farm out a lot of jobs around the country. We started just doing local pickups for them, and then we let them know if we ever needed help or they ever needed help finding another contractor in another city, we'd be more than happy to help them. So that's what we normally do. A lot of bigger companies, like you did it for a Ross, they get contracts to do all the Rosses, and if they have a problem like getting rid of pallets or something doesn't fit in the compactor, They'll give someone like us a call, and if obviously we don't have someone who can do it, we're always looking for somebody who's reliable as Ricardo, you know, to do something like that. Awesome. I love that, man. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, we, we came out here. We we were out here just a second ago. We just picked, picked up. What's funny is they told me to go back and buzz the door, and I'm buzzing the door, and I can hear someone on the other side of the door screaming at me, and they're like, what do you want? And I said, I said, uh, I said, said, dude, i got to pick up some trash. He opens the door, and it's family dollar. <laughs> the dude was pissed but uh yeah. no we came to the next one and we we found the trash here and we just picked it up we're just cool. driving but listen i appreciate you and you do you watch my channel before right yeah i have mm -hmm. okay cool cool so you knew when you were picking up the phone you were talking to me then i knew who to call yeah, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, brother, and thanks for being a subscriber to my channel. Hey, and anytime you need help, you know, I I get phone calls like this every once in a while. I've done jobs for like other city, you know, other big businesses. As a matter of fact, one eight hundred junk. I get a job from them about twice a week. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, just small stuff. Like they don't want to pick up a fridge for forty five dollars. They don't want to pick up a TV for sixty five. No, you know, they 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 when they drive off, they got to be making a hundred and forty dollars off it. You know. Yeah. So, but I appreciate the business, and you know, let me know if you got more stuff like this. We're glad to help, brother. Sounds good. Thanks, Ricardo. All right, take it easy, man. Bye bye. You too. Bye bye. Right. Nice guy, guys. He's with Junk Genius. That's how we work together. I wanted y'all to hear that because it's coming from you know, from the person who gave me the job, but. He, of course, he contracts with Ross. Ross told him, hey, do you have anybody in Texas? He says, yeah. He picks up the phone, calls me, and boom, I'm here. $150 later, filled up the back of the pickup truck. It's nothing. It's no trash at all. Uh, we're out of here, guys. We're going back home right now. I'll talk to you in a few minutes, guys. If not, probably going to end this video, but... Okay.